So today we're gonna do some MFR on the feet. Um, so some of this is face up and some of this is face down. So we're gonna start with the arches. So for this, I'm just going to undrape the feet, but you can always incorporate this work into your leg massages. So with the, we're gonna start with the transverse arch, which is from here over. Um, if they have a fallen arch, they usually have a callus somewhere in here. Um, she's pretty good on her little welt. Maybe a little bit of a callus there. But, okay, so if they have a fallen arch, um, well, let me show you what it looks like, because I got one. Just, I think it's on. Yeah, and then it also, I always wear a hole in my sock right here. I go through socks real fast, too, because of my fallen arch, but, ooh. So if you see how it's calloused right here, that is where I put my weight. So my socks always wear holes right there, but really the weight should be on the sides here, mostly right here. Um, so like when I, if you notice when I uh, move my toes to scrunch them, this one like just doesn't want to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> So it's just weak in here, these muscles. So um, having them grab something and pull is kind of the best way to strengthen that stuff and get this to kind of come back up. Um, so the work we're gonna do right now is to kind of help with that. I'm gonna suck back on because I'm code. All right. So, um, so what we're going to do is we're going to pull it up like this. So we're going to stretch out that. Does that feel okay? Yeah. And you can even kind of pull it towards you just a little bit, like up. But really we're, our focus is pulling the ends up towards the front of the body or dorsal. And you're just going to hold that for the two to five minutes of normal myofascial work. And then I like to always do a little like wiggle afterwards, reintegrate. Um, you can also push up and go this way if it feels better. Do you have a preference on which one feels better? No. Okay. Her arches seem pretty normal in there, so. Um, if they have um, like a hammer toe that sticks up, or like a drop toe. You can also do like individual myofascial work with each toe. So like sometimes when they have a hammer toe, I like to push the up and in like this and like over exaggerate the hammer toe. Sometimes that can help it release. Um, you could pull out with the toes if you wanted to. I like to check with them to make sure she doesn't have either one. Um, if you bend the toes like this, and you you should be able to see all the knuckles. If you can't see the knuckles, then they might have a drop toe or, or something. So um, her feet are pretty good. We know she has some plantar fasciitis stuff, right? Is it both feet? Yes. Okay, so um, yeah. Uh, so this kind of like the gist up here. And then when you come to the medial arch here, so there's a couple things you can do. If they, if you have pretty flat feet, um, 
then you might want to kind of like stretch the arch out. So what I would do is push here and with my other thumb kind of pull down towards the table and push this one here. We're kind of just stretching the foot. Does that feel okay? Mm -hmm. And I guess since this is all pretty much seated work, you guys don't have to worry too much about table height. And then I like to always do a little make nice wiggly stuff. <clears throat> um, you can also push in this way and push out, like up and out this way. And sometimes it's nice to just go every direction with the fascia. And you can ask them which one feels better, if anything. Do you have any preference? Okay. And she's got a nice arch. Um, sometimes if they're flat footed, then there's just not much arch here at all. And then you can have too high of an arch as well. Uh, so if your clients have a flat foot, then they don't absorb shock very well. Um, and they can even have headaches and like issues all the way up. Um, you don't want them to recommend arch support because it overstretches this area too quickly and causes a lot of foot pain. So it's best for them to see like usually chiropractors or PTs or foot doctors can get an orthotic that's right for them. Um, but Sometimes people's shoes cause more problems than they think just because, um, you know, your arch is a natural support. So if you put something in the middle of an arch, you usually cause more issues than good. So just think of like any arch in nature or architect, there's never a pole in the middle of an arch. It naturally supports itself. Uh, so arch support is kind of a scam, in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> you don't support an arch. I don't know. You might need an orthotic to keep your foot straight. Um, so what happens a lot of times is people get injured and instead of stepping with most of their weight on the inside of their foot, they tend to start maybe putting more weight on the outside of the foot. And then that's where you find yourself um, in a lot of issues going up because the weight is not being put on the correct part of the foot. Uh, and you can retrain yourself to step properly. Um, but because it's usually like a guarding thing, you don't always do that on your own. So uh, orthotic or PT can help. Uh, so if you notice that your clients, sometimes I'll look at my client's shoes, like the bottom of them. Um, and if they're wearing on the outside of their foot a lot, that's a good sign that they are walking on the outside of their feet, which is gonna cause knee problems and cat, uh, like shin knee, hip, all the way up to the neck. So educating your clients about proper like gait and um, referring them to somebody to watch them walk or run or whatever they do. If somebody uh, starts running, it almost amplifies everything so much faster because you're more steps, more impact. So if you have a little bit of a knee issue, if you start running, it's gonna be a huge issue quicker. So um, it is the beginning of the year and people are trying to get fit again. So they might, you might see people at the beginning of the year with all these issues. Uh, so it's important they have the right shoes, not too much arch support. 
um, and that they're just stepping correctly. So for um, someone who has like a fallen arch on the outside of their foot, um, you can stretch them by twisting the foot this way and pulling down this way. Does that feel okay? Mm -hmm. So this thumb is pointing down or pushing down and this foot is pushing out and up. And we're just trying to create a little bit more space. And typically with this one, I like to address the fibula as well. Um, and like the ankle bones. Because a lot of times the ankle gets pretty locked up, especially if you are putting too much weight on the outside of your foot. Um, so f you can just do a little bit more of a drape here. So you can do either like cross hand on the outside of the foot. Um, you can also do like a, where you hold here and then you bend the foot like this. Does that feel okay? No. Oh, sorry. I thought you should talk to the camera. It's fine. Kara, does that feel okay? <laughs> <laughs>